All right, carry on with the uh, interactive registration workflows. Um, I have a project that uh, has only one cluster in it. I'm going to bring in another cluster or two. It doesn't matter how many clusters, but workflow is the same. Uh, whenever I do clusters, I like to actually rename my clusters to something logical. So in this case, I'll call this classroom the OK button. The reason behind this is if you're importing uh, projects that you did uh, separately, um, scene likes to call the projects uh, clusters the same. They're all called scans. If you have multiple projects that you're ringing in and you happen to uh, not have renamed the actual cluster, you may be breaking uh, your existing registration. So let's do this. Let's go. This was 17. Let's go manual. Let's go here. Open, okay. So you see my cluster that I had opened before is called classroom. My second cluster that I just imported is called uh, scans. Uh, let's just have a look at it. There we go. It's another cluster registered to a certain degree over here. Again, not a bad idea is renaming it. So I'm going to either rename it here. You can rename the cluster here or here. It's up to you. I'm going to do it here for now. Call it uh, warehouse it includes warehouse because it has more scans in it. And so I have now two clusters, classroom and includes warehouse cluster with certain um, other entities that are here. They are not registered to each other. Oddly enough, let's see, they are locate. So that's here, and then the other one is somewhere in the oblivion, somewhere over there. Okay, so interactive registration. Let's go in it. And to combine these two clusters to each other, the easiest way to doing that is actually right-clicking the uh, name of the project and creating another cluster and we'll call it I don't know, combined, and I'm really shift selecting. So this is where I'm holding down my shift key on my keyboard and just dragging these two in here. So now when I view my registration, you'll notice that nothing's working, obviously, because I have a well cluster somewhere here and with certain registration uh, scans and links and uh, connections between the scans. That's awesome. And then this is, uh, which one it is? Oh, it's this guy. And then this one is really far away apparently. So if I go locate, that's really, really, really far away. I can tell that uh, a couple of these scans are in very reasonable positions to where I want the connections to actually happen. Right now, there are no connections. Again, I'm not going to be running this. I could fix it by just running a course registration and then a fine registration, but because I'm focusing on doing it manually, we will look at it, say, okay, so which scan is this one? This is scan number six. And then let's go into my classroom here and just uh, locate this guy and find a scan that's generally in the same area there. Let's say this guy, sure. So if you click properly, it'll highlight the scan. There we go. So this is scan number three. So three and six are supposed to be connected. So let's do this. Let's add a connection between three and six. So now we have a connection that hasn't been refined yet. Uh, let's go ahead and actually try a refine. I closed the 3D view. I didn't mean to close the 3D view. There we go. All right. So you can see that in my 3D view, I have, th they're miles apart. They're thousands of miles apart or well, feet apart. Let's do this. Uh, let's refine new connections and see if the software figures out the actual placement of where these things should be. All right, we have a green light, happy uh, overlap. We didn't do the optimize yet. So when I hit the optimize button, you'll see the little link between the scans goes away. And if we now zoom in to where we were, yes, it's 
incredibly the same space, but shows you that you can connect uh, just the two clusters that you have in your combined cluster with a single connection over here. Now, what's cool is it's already done. I don't have a scan manager yet. Again, I just have to hit the update statistics button. Updating statistics updates it updates my scan manager, which means now I have some statistics that I can actually output. And oh, what you can do is also run a cross section across your scans that were already registered. And just for fun, you can look at which cluster is which one. So by colorizing the scans, not by their natural color, but by their, uh, I guess, uh, hierarchy in which cluster they live, and you can see that the blues are these guys, or I guess backwards. Uh, these guys are the orange guys. These are the uh, blues over here. So if you want to do multiple connections, the only connection we currently have that is between the clusters is this guy. If you want to, you can tighten this up by adding more connections here. So this guy might be here. Let's go. This guy might be here. What else is useful? This guy might be here. And again, we'll just hit refine connections. It's unlikely that it'll give us much better results, but hey, you can run this as many times as you want. Now notice, again, we have this uh, existing kind of quirk that goes on with a new interface. You'll try to do the refine connections and nothing happens. You see that they're still blue and I don't have any statistics here either. So no statistics. We'll just say, okay, we know that this happens. We'll close the view and just re reopen the view and suddenly I have my statistics. Again, I know this will change in the future, but this way I now have updated statistics also on all of my new connections. Once this is done, your scan manager is unhappy again, we'll just hit the optimize, and you don't have to keep hitting optimize. Optimize is just to view uh, your results before running the up update statistics, but update statistics actually does both optimize and give you uh, an updated um, spreadsheet for your uh, scan manager here and your tolerances. So I hit that button. Let's go 0.5 millimeters. We're really happy with the actual results here. So you see that I combined a couple of clusters here. So the logic behind combining clusters is you don't have to combine all of the scans. You just find the ones that are nearest each other and just add that one connection or two connections manually, optimize, and then update your statistics, and then you're done. If you have any further questions or comments, leave them below.